Hey guys, this is SJ Gaming HD, and welcome to the second episode of the No Gemming series. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, so I am back with another video, and before I begin, I would like to apologize for not being able to uh, push out videos recently. I just had a lot of testing going on with the important tests, um, and uh, I just had some problems uh, that just sort of prevented me from pushing out videos. So, but anyways, uh, I am back, and um, first, uh, so since I haven't pushed out a video in a while, I would like to give you some very, very exciting updates that happened to my village while I was, while, um, I was gone. So, um, last, last video, uh, I promised you guys that I actually would show you guys me upgrading some stuff. Unfortunately... I, I couldn't record me upgrading stuff, so I'll just give you an update of what I upgraded, and, uh, and just go forth. So, first, um, I, what I, I upgraded uh, the mortars, so all my mortars are going to be maxed out in a day and 20 hours. Um, all my cannons are max level, except for one. All my archery towers are level 7. Um... And I got my uh, other air defense up, and currently we are upgrading our wizard to level 4. But that's not all. Um, there's a really, really, really exciting um, upgrade that I was able to achieve without gemming, and that is we are upgrading our town hall to level 8, guys. And this was all done without gemming, and this sh hopefully gives you guys an idea of what you can do with gemming. I actually am getting this thing up to level 8, which is amazing. I'm sorry I cannot show you guys me, like, pushing the upgrade button. But I did by it, by getting some resources and being awesome. So, guys, I am just so excited. This town hall is going up to level 8. And the moment it gets up to level 8, I will I will sh start showing you guys... Some building some stuff in level 8, upgrading some stuff, telling you guys what's new, and just so and so forth. And also, I was able to almost max out, and I got some more walls up to level 7. And yeah, so I, I'm just very, very excited for, um, for, um, all of these upgrades that occurred while I was gone. Oh, uh, well, I, I can't record these, unfortunately. And... Next, uh, before I get into my uh, actual video, I'd like to just show you guys an exciting update that I am waiting for Supercell to release. So, Supercell is releasing Clan Wars. Oops, what did I do there? Okay. Supercell is releasing Clan Wars, and uh, it will let you battle uh, between clan to clan, and all of your resource tanks will be only one gem, which is awesome uh, until the Clan Wars come out. I don't know how long this is going to last. And I, the reason I'm excited for this is, um, I think Clan Wars is going to be a great way to just show off and achieve clans. And basically, Clan Wars is sort of the point of Clash of Clans. Um, I always wanted, uh, Supercell to do something about the name Clans. The name itself of the game is Clash of Clans, but there wasn't really much that Clans did besides just competing against trophies. So I'm just really excited. And speaking of clan wars, I would like to give you guys and um, just what, what my uh, sort of uh, introduce my clan to you guys. So my clan is called the Dark Circle. It is a very, very, very small clan. It only has 17 people, and people they they aren't very high up. Um, I am the co-leader with my amazing buddy Z the Dark Hero. You guys should definitely check out his channel. He does a bunch of Minecraft videos. Z the Dark Hero again, check out his channel. Um. This, um, this clan was made by Z the Dark Hero, and, um, I, I decided to join. Uh, this is our clan. It's very small, but we are trying to grow this. Um, it would be great if you guys would join. Uh, it's, it requires zero trophies, so, um, again, if you guys are beginners and you just got a clan castle, you guys are welcome to join. Uh, anyone can join. And, yeah, so that's basically our clan. So... And also the main update is I'm getting my town all up to level 8. So, uh, now, uh, now that we've gone over everything, uh, that I've caught you guys up on every update that happened to my village, first I would like to show you guys a, um, some attacks I did recently, and 
And also, if you take a look at my loot I got, uh, I am doing fairly well. Uh, not bad. I mean, I'm getting okay loot around 250k, which is awesome. And let's see the um, the oldest replay that uh, this Clash of Clans will let me show you guys. So, uh, this was a replay. This was a battle against um, a Town Hall 7. And first I checked there wasn't any clan troops. And I decided where I should uh, attack him from. Well, after deciding, uh, I realized the air defense is outside. I just decided to get this central air defense. So I put down my giants, put down healing spells, span my wizards across. Put um, the majority of my archers down. Uh, and then um, I put another heal spell. So it would heal my giants until I was actually able to put down my healer. Put two, dropped two more wall breakers. They didn't exactly go where I wanted them to, but they did go. So, and then I dropped a rage spell when the, my uh, troops were around the town hall, so they could take out the town hall. And also uh, in the middle, he put all his resources down. And also, which was saying, so I put down rage spell for my other troops. Um, and then I was able to put down my healer because uh, the air defense was gone, and the troops down here were taking care of the air defense right here, which is great. Um, and then my troops are going around, doing damage, and one thing I have to say to this guy, he should really take advantage of his important buildings, like, putting a freaking mortar outside and his clan castle outside is just stupid. He should think of a better base layout, and upgrade his walls also. And if you speed it up, they just went through the village, um, doing the boss stuff they should do, and then at 98%, they just destroy the builder's hut. And I was able to achieve 100%. And next, uh, I would like to show you on my last, um, my latest attack I did. Uh, I did this just three hours ago. Uh, this was, no, never mind, I'm, uh, not the latest attack. Um, another, another raid that I achieved. And this was against another Town Hall 7. Uh, he had a, um, uh, he had a Barbarian King. And when the hero came to this side, I alerted him, which is always good. And uh, I just uh, took him out. And uh, the thing about he was, he, all his resources were in his pumps, which is always good if you have goblins, because they'll always do pumps. So, speed forward this process. I took out his cam, made a little bit of a mistake here. Uh, putting down troops, and then I put, put it down, and then... Um, I made sure there wasn't any bombs here. And then, when I put down my wall breakers, they got destroyed by the mortar, so I had to put down all my wall breakers to get through the wall. Put down another heal spell, and, um, my giants were doing damage. Put down a rage spell so that I could take out the air defense. Dropped my healer, there was a air bomb, which is okay. And, uh, my troops were just doing damage in the middle, um... My goblins unfortunately died out, which sucks because they're actually good when you're attacking pumps from the outside. And but my giants were doing damage. Uh, the healer was in the range of the air defense, just got taken out. And then uh, the d troops over here were getting lots of damage by the cannon. There was no healer left, and there was a freaking wizard tower against the giants, and wizard towers are the giants' enemy, because they just attack the groups until they die, so... My giants just got taken out, and all my troops were down, and if you speed forward, I just decided to end the battle right there, because I didn't really have any troops left, so... That's how it went. The loot was okay, but... Um... I could have done better if I had uh, placed down better troops in better locations. Okay, so, and as always, um, after I show you guys replays, I always, um, uh, show you guys me writing live. So, um, guys, I will be right back once I have found a raid. Hey guys, so I am back with a raid for you guys. Uh, this base is a Town Hall 7 base, and... I chose this base because, first of all, one of his mortars were under construction, and his air defenses were low level, plus they were in the outside area, making it very easy, 
and also um his resources were in the middle section so um i decided to read this so first uh it's important to draw out the clan troops so let's just go ahead he has a freaking dragon in his clan castle and that looks like it's a level 2 dragon. And dragons are just so annoying to have in clan castles. Why do you have to have a dragon? Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's anyways, I was, sorry, I was just annoyed there. So, uh, let's see. Let's see if I can... Let's see, let's see. Hope the wizard can take it out. Okay, so the dragon is taken care of, which is good. Uh, then let's drop our giants right here. And then put down our heal spell. And then put down our wall breakers. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I put... Oh my gosh. Guys, we are making so much mistakes today. I put down my heal spell there. And I swear I could have done better if I hadn't done that. So, but anyways, let's, let's hope for the best. Drop down our healer since the air defense is on the way other side. Uh, drop down the rest of our archers and let's hope for the best. Oh wow, the misplacement of the heal spell. So good, we are getting the elixir we want. Um, we got half of the elixir we want, uh, not all of it though. And healer is going around uh, healing my giants. My giants are going around uh, doing damage to the defenses while my wizards are in the back, not taking any damage, just destroying the resources that I want. So, right now... Uh, the wizards are getting the clan castle, I mean, not the clan castle, the, uh, town hall. Uh, my troops are, um, getting through the wall. And since the giants over here are taking the damage, my troops can just back him up from the be behind and just get the elixir. And this is what I love about the giant strategy. Uh, the giants are just staying there like, um, uh, what's that called? Tanks. And the healer just heals them. And there's just troops in the back just doing all the damage to the defenses while the giants are just acting as a shield so uh looks like all my troops are dead this was a two-star raid which is okay uh my healer is going down there's only one archer left and that's yeah let's, and i'm just gonna end the battle right there and we got quite a bit of elixir uh 257 okay a little over and 11 dark elixir and nine trophies and i think we did pretty well that was um good loot and um some of you guys may be curious of uh what strategy i was using i talked about it briefly in my previous video um so what that basically is i'll show you so what i train is i train one healer uh i train and then 10 wizards and then one goblin here and then i train 20 goblins and uh one giant and seven wall breakers and one archer and then i train eight giants and then two heal spells and one rage spell and then 50 archers and then i still have five space in my clan i'm uh, in my army camp uh then it depends i sometimes train more wizards i sometimes train another giant or i sometimes train uh five more archers and it depends but that's basically my strategy and guys before I conclude this video, guys, um, first I'd like to give some shout-outs to people and um, just some future videos and what I'm going to be doing in the future. So first I'd like to give shout-out to Zeta Dark Hero. You guys should check out his channel. Uh, this is how you spell his name, Zeta Dark Hero, right here. Uh, he does Minecraft videos. If you guys are into Minecraft, you guys should definitely check out Zeta Dark Hero. And next, if you want to record your Android device's screen for free, Check out the link in the bottom right corner of your screen. It's called recordable.mobi. Uh, there are tutorials in that website that allow you to record your Android device's screen. And also, it does not require a root, which is awesome, always. And next, um, and uh, before I conclude this video, uh, I would like to give you some future updates. So in the future, as you can see, uh, obviously in my next video, I'm going to be doing a Town Hall 8 build-up video. And it's going to be posted, I don't know, sometime next week. 
And also, um, I'm going to start trophy pushing once Clan Wars comes out. And that will give you guys a very, very good idea of how far you can go without gemming. And also, I forgot to mention, if you guys don't know what this no gemming series is, and you guys have no idea what I am talking about right now, you guys should check out my first video, the links are in the description. But if I were to give you a brief description about what this series is, and sorry if, if I didn't mention that earlier, uh, this series is basically going to be about me trying to max out Clash of Clans without gemming. And the reason I'm doing this, I started at a Tunnel 7, which isn't too high or too low, and I didn't gem all the way to Tunnel 7. And the reason I'm doing this is, if you're like me, uh, lots of people out there, they can't just start spending gems. Um, and what the, lots of the popular YouTubers are doing is they're just gemming their base, maxing out a Tunnel 10. And I'm not saying that's bad, that's very entertaining, fun, and it's really fun to watch, looking at higher up strategies. But that's not what you can really do unless you can you have the time and money to start gemming. So what my uh, series is is I show you guys some strategies at an average level, what an average Clash of Clans user can do, and I just do videos on that. And I'm not allowed to buy any gems. I have to stick with the two typical builders a guy would have. I'm only allowed to use gems from removing obstacles or getting achievements. So yeah, guys, that just wraps up our video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Also, check out my feature points and support me and get free gems on that. And anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching. That concludes our video, and have a great rest of the day. Peace.